Hi, my name is Jessica Evans with Love of DC Real Estate here in Washington, DC. So we sell a fair number of condos and new construction condos are coming on the market in higher numbers than in prior years. So I wanted to do a video for you on five things to know when you're buying a new construction condo. Now these are specific to Washington, DC. I'm sure there's some overlap um but they're a little more specific than might be helpful for someone who lives across the country for example so first and foremost new construction does not guarantee good quality construction it's important to make sure that you're buying from a builder a reputable builder that stands behind their work um if this is somebody's first new construction condo project i just i don't think it's a good idea i've seen too many too many things go wrong um, so it's important to ask for references, ask about experience, ask for other projects they've done. If they have any, um, references they can provide, that's excellent. That's super helpful. Not always possible, um, but do some research. And if it seems like when you walk into it, it's not well done, it probably isn't. The condo fees that are advertised in the initial sale will go up. They are based off of a budget that is possibly doable, but in most cases, the operating expenses or the anticipated repair and maintenance costs are going to be higher. So you should expect that new construction condo fees will go up. Um, if you are purchasing a condo and it is either not completed or they don't have the certificate of occupancy in hand, the timeline is uncertain. It is extremely difficult, if not impossible. No, it's impossible for a developer to say when they will receive their certificate of occupancy if they don't have it in hand. Therefore, they cannot guarantee a settlement date. It is important that you have flexible timing as a buyer, that you do not give notice on your current lease if you're renting, that you maintain that flexibility and do not lock in your interest rate until they have their certificate of occupancy because unfortunately, you may be told it's going to be one month, two months, three months, and it could be triple or quadruple that. So flexibility of timeline is really important. Uh, the biggest construction risk in buying new construction is water intrusion, whether it's through the roof, the siding, the windows, the doors, the basement, the foundation, all of those water getting in seems to be the reoccurring theme of like the biggest problem and hardest to fix. Um, so it's important that you always have a, a home inspection done and even more important because in DC you, you have 15 days to do this, do it after a heavy rain. If it's not possible to do it after a rain, consider bringing someone in to do a special water test. You really wanna make sure it's watertight as much as you can from the point of purchase, because once water gets in after you buy it, you're dealing with a lot of other issues when it comes to fixing it. Not all issues are detectable or preventable with a home inspection. So that's not to say that it's going to be a guarantee of anything. It just increases your chances of finding a problem if one already exists. Last but not least, associations, so the condo association, has two years from the sale of the last unit to pursue claims against the, war the developer from their warranty bond. When a developer sells new construction condos, they put with the city a warranty bond. And it's very important that the association exercise their right to have a engineer evaluate the building right before that two year point, determine if there are any defects and pursue claims against that warranty bond for those defects. Associations that don't do this usually find out these issues in years three to five, which at that point, there's really nothing you can do other than maybe pursue litigation against a developer, which is extremely expensive and has a low chance of success. Um, so, Everybody should know that this really needs to be done when you're buying a new construction condo so that the association has the funds to address any issues that, you know, not everything's going to be hundred percent. It's just, there are going to be little things that maybe could have been done differently, but they can be fixed in a lot of cases. So it's a really important step that condo associations take. Um, when you're purchasing new construction, it is absolutely imperative that you use a buyer's agent. Um, it might seem like it's a walk in the park and but there there's a ton of risk even more risk maybe than in a resale because no one's ever lived in that unit before um and especially using an agent that is very experienced in new construction is also helpful 
If you have any questions at all about new construction condos, please don't hesitate to reach out and I'd love to hear from you.